Good morning, fellas. Thursday, uh, I think it's the 24th of October. Uh, gonna head down to the beach and just talk quickly about a Wise account that I use in Thailand that I got from England. Andrew Robinson's asked about my Wise account. Now, if you're in England, I, for me, it works perfect. Uh, you can get a Wise account online in minutes if you've got your passport and you've got no serious issues, uh, credit-wise. Um, and what you do, you open a, a WISE account and it takes seconds to open a Thai bank account. Now, it's not a proper Thai bank account, but I'm going to spin around. I've done my two and a half pay this way. Uh, but you can pay uh, Thai banks from it. Um, and I'll tell you the advantages in a minute. Uh, so you can pay Thai banks from it. You can transfer money in and out of it. Uh, from your WISE account. I've never had any problems. The rates are always uh, good. Um, I could check actually. I'll check in a minute what the current rate is against what TT currency exchange is. Um, and to pay, so I pay my rent from my WISE account. Uh, so you could pay your hotel, for example. Um, so I pay my rent, which is 25,000 baht a month. Um, and I pay it to a Thai bank account and it costs me I think it's 40 baht for, for that transaction. Um, so the advantages for me of having it, you can use your, your, your WISE debit card in Thailand. You, you can also use it in uh, Dubai. You can have a, a, a Dubai bank account. I think it's an AED. Um, you can move money over there and, and so, so that saves you money in the airport. You can have a Euro bank account, all these types of bank accounts and you can use your card in those countries without a charge. So I go to Robin Hood's Tavern, I go to Big C and there's no there's no charge. It automatically takes it from my, my, Thai, uh, my Thai account. The only downfall that it has is, I believe it's every month you can take 20,000 baht out cash without, uh, without a charge. But after that, it's, I think it's the same charge as what your English a uh, bank account would charge you. I think it's about 500 baht for, for say, 20,000 baht. So currently to convert with TT Currency Exchange, it's for, for one pound, it's 43.3. You get 43.3 Thai baht, but with WISE, it's 43.8. Um, so again, I haven't got to the biggest advantage for me is I changed, let's say I changed 10,000 pounds when the the Thai baht was uh, 46 baht to the pound um, currently as I say it's 43.3 so I've saved myself let's say I saved myself 30,000 baht between now and then on on the currency exchange which is about what uh, 750 quid um, so you can you can play with money a little bit like that the same for so I get paid in in dollars so if you get paid in dollars you can have an American account and I just wait until the dollar, the dollar isn't great at the minute. Um, so I changed a load of dollars into Thai baht as well, uh, or into pounds. So you can, you can hold it in a bank account uh, and wait till the exchange rate's better. You could, you could build, let's say you just wanted to build your Thai bank account up. So when you come to Thailand, um, you can pay your hotels, pay your big C, um, whatever you want to pay. Obviously... You can't really pay uh, massages or bars so much. So you need cash for those kind of transactions. But uh, but I highly recommend it. It's also protected. Is it the FCPC, whatever it's called, the Financial Protection uh, Company or whatever that is? I, I could have Googled it, but I'm not going to waste my time. You guys know what I mean. It's protected by the uh, the, the English finance laws so so I, again highly recommend wise it works perfect for me it'd just be better if i could get cash out and um, i've tried taking um try taking the, the card to western union i was told you could get a cheaper rate it, it's a little bit cheaper you're talking like a hundred baht over like forty thousand baht so it wasn't really worth it for me um so yeah if anybody knows if anybody knows a cheaper way to get cash out using WISE, please let me know. Plan for today, um, I'm going to go Big C. You'll see what I'll buy there. 
Um, I'm then going to go to Robin Hood's Tavern tonight. Um, have a have a couple of games of pool at the Billabong, um, and that and then that'll probably be me tomorrow, Friday. Tomorrow I've got a uh, jiu-jitsu class at 7 p.m. So I'll probably be knackered after that. Probably stay in Friday night, and then the weekend. Uh, it's my last weekend here this trip. So uh, so I need to go shopping for some clothes and whatnot. Um, get my, my condo in a, in a state where I can leave it for, for four weeks. Uh, so quite a quiet weekend coming. I'll probably get a massage. So this is where all the Chinese and I think Thais come as well for the speedboats and uh, all the water sports. They must meet here, get some food. Looks, looks like a well set up. Here's a new house getting built here. Apparently this is called Billionaire's Road. I'm sure you do need a billion baht to, to own one of these houses. Let's see how this is looking in five weeks time when I return from Africa. As some fellas just said there, who wants to live in a place here that's just frontal glass, you know? You haven't got much of a view here. You've just got trucks. It's not a bad view, in some cases. You got a lady in the hole there. Some sort of services or drainage, I think. But you wouldn't find that in the UK, or I don't even think in the West, perhaps. These, uh, these ladies, they might be Cambodian, mightn't they? Might be Thai. Yeah. Grafting, grafting hard. I don't know what this lass is doing here, mind. She's got some good footwear on for, for the building site. She'll get her phone out. Even the fella there, look, mixing, he's mixing something. Just being bitch. So fellas, I finally did it. I finally bought one. So I've gone from this drying rack here, which is pretty much only good for boxes, shorts and socks, to this lovely pink number. It was only 700 baht, but it's on wheels. And it's just, it's what we use as like a second storage rack. Uh, but I think it's, uh, it's great. The tires use it for drying, so I'm gonna adopt that method uh, and it just just dries things a bit a lot better so let's see what today brings fellas beautiful day John Tien it is Thursday I've done my uh, jiu-jitsu lesson got another one tomorrow so I'm drying my kit now uh, let's go get some lunch or dinner sorry at Robin Hood's tavern uh, and go from there So, it's getting a bit congested and polluted. Of course, it's nothing new here in Pattaya, but uh, I do, I do struggle to breathe the air in a little bit. Like, imagine hot uh, fumes, petrol and, and mostly petrol fumes, right? Um, it's getting a bit sick, a bit sickly. Um, a Thai, a Thai woman my taxi driver says she always gets a, a bad throat when she's in Pattaya because of the uh, Pattaya because of the um, fumes and you see a lot of these ties now riding around with like covers on their face so yeah it's getting a bit sickly for me glad I'm out in Jum Tien
and that was last night fellas the, uh, the the chicken curry wasn't great to be honest but the, the naan bread was better last time I had it, it was quite quite hard the naan bread and the rice and the chips were good just the, the curry sauce wasn't great but for for uh, a tenner what can you say uh, so now fellas I'll, I'll leave it there I'll go where uh, I'll go and edit this video which will take me all the ten minutes if that I always I always wonder why youtubers complain that it takes them like seven hours to edit a video I mean mate just 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 throw it together do you know what I mean nobody really cares about all the uh, the editing skill do you I don't know let me know fellas uh, anyway guys getting uh, very busy down here now hopefully next trip this would have moved on past my condo uh, oh this is this is a nightmare this getting stuck behind one of these bins they absolutely stink rotten absolutely I like these ladies here you, honestly you just would not want to be stuck behind this the worst thing ever I, I break laws to get past them um, anyway guys hope all is well and uh, leave a comment like subscribe or whatever you do or, or don't want to do have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on the next one